Okay, good. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome, and thank you for joining tonight on Talking Sip. We look forward to persons that may come tonight where we look at different topics, look at um, different issues, and uh, we have a fantastic discussion where I'm drinking some, uh, what should I say, Magnus. Not touching the wine tonight, yeah? Listening to some cool, calm, what should I say? Uh, Theta Cash, Jordan Marie, welcome, good evening, and how you doing? Hope you're well, hope you're enjoying the cool, wonderful evening, wherever you are. Earlier tonight I came on and uh, somebody called me, and I think when someone calls, when people call actually, it's like it shuts the show down completely, it means saying no audio, you know? And that is um, really fortunate, but nevertheless, still um, tapping on YouTube, I think a bit of Facebook, um, to get into the show properly. One has got to actually uh, yeah, one has got to actually come on to the Instagram, but eventually that will be um, changed. One of the things though in the in the UK now, and it is very concerning because what we have is a shortage, shortage of petrol. Can you imagine, right? Somebody said to me that it's a strategy, and that strategy is to, is to uh, what, what they call a strategy? It's a strategy to get people to actually um, stay home, you know, turn in your yard. I don't know if that makes sense, though, but they say it's a strategy to get people to, to turn uh, at a yard, yeah, and um, you know, but but either way, still, let me just, yeah, either way, still, it's uh, I've been out today and um, did some cleaning up in the in the neighborhood, did some sort of uh, what should I say, commute to work. And, and, and what it does, it actually takes your mind away from, you know, um, typical things which are happening in the world. Takes your mind away from um, activities. Take your mind away from the national things. Take your mind away from international things. And it brings things home to you. Bring things home to you whereby you realize that, hey, we got families, we got friends, you know, uh, things which are sometimes pertinent. And even with the petrol, which is reduced in the UK at this time, where people are finding it difficult to get petrol, I, I, I find it somehow opportunity again for people to stand in the yard, for people to stay home and people to get to know each other, people get to really chill and people get to relax. That's one of my thinking as well. Let me see. Um, and of course, I invite persons who want to come in on the show. Um, you know, if Vita, you want to come in, you just say yes. Um, anyone want to come in? And one of the things that I was um, thinking about as well is the whole aspect of, you know, national things, individual things. You know, I saw someone put a, a license on my on my wall and um, even that lights was on the wall so I knock on a couple of doors just to see whose license it is until my wife reminded me that the license our shoulder the license was actually expired you know so there we go no need for the license but it's having that somewhat um, that that human touch at this time which is so crucial you know and I want to at the same time to Take people's minds away from, if possible, take people's minds away from, what should I say, politics. Take people's minds away from COVID. Can you do that? Take person's mind away from Afghanistan. Take person's mind away from things which gives them a sort of mental block, if you know what I'm trying to say. A mental block whereby you are actually trying to find ways how to move on. But many people are feeling stuck, 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 you know? And 
how can that be done? You know, and anyone that want to actually come in and to have that discussion, take it away to another zone, take it away to a next level, take it away to another dimension and not getting susceptible into the narratives of the day. Because the narratives of the day, what it does, it is driving you and it is forcing you and it is compelling you to think a particular way, compelling you to act a particular way, compelling you to actually want to have a, a narrative in a certain way. And what I say is that, hey, we've got to shift. You know, there's a, a I think, oh, there someone sent me something uh, about a great chef. And what the great chef talks about is fires. You know, you can have the flame or so, when the flame burns. But sometimes what is so important is a stove, is a stove that sets the temperature, sets the gauge and gets you going. Powerful, totally powerful, you know? And, and those are one of the things that with the world as it is today, you know, everyone, it's, it's like we're getting back into this so-called race, getting back into this sort of rat race, getting back into the point whereby you're led like a lamb to the slaughter. So anyone who wants to come in, let me know, because I, I better request a couple of persons, but they said they're not able. Guys, if you're ready to come in, let me know. I'll bring you straight in. Aristotle, if you want to come in, anyone want to come in, let us know. We're going to talk about what's happening in Jamaica. We're going to talk about what, what's happening in Haiti. You know, Haiti is such a crazy place right now. But at the same time, while it is crazy, the people are not crazy. The people are, all need something of a, uh, an opportunity, an opportunity to shine. And that opportunity to shine comes from the ability to get, you know, what should I say? The ability to get, I, I love this music. I, I love this music. I just, I just found something today. This is totally awesome. The music sets the stage, the music gets you going and the music gets you in a pensive mood. You know, it's not like it's hypnotic, but hey, how can you chill, step into another zone, step into another level, talk and sip, or you have a drink, and you say, hey, do we have to follow the narrative of the day? No. Do we have to follow what this, the news media say? No. Do we have to follow what the doctor says? No. Do we have to follow what everybody's saying? No. Do we have to worry about petrol is gone? No. Do we have to worry about toilet paper? No. No, no, no. You don't have to follow through with anything. All you've got to do is follow through with the things that you actually want at this time, you know? So, so that's it. That's my sort of opening bit there. And, um, you know, anyone wants to come in, come in, and I'll just keep sharing the show. You know, bingo. There we go. You know, I was, I was actually listening to the news today, and they were actually showing, they were showing something about um, Afghanistan. And what they were showing about Afghanistan was the build up to Afghanistan. You know, the build up after Afghanistan. But what all it brings to was the, 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 the people. The people actually, you know, which is the, the precious human resources of time. The precious human. Gaza, if you want to come in, let me know, boss. Anybody want to come in, let me know. D. Murray, Ivan, if you want to come in. Because I think I, I requested a couple of persons, but they're not able to. So let me know before I, I start to, to try to bring in anyone. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Those on YouTube as well, if you want to come on, um, go on to Instagram um, as well. Join, join the show. Yes, bingo. You know, you know. I, was, I was actually thinking on something the other day, if I can find it. <coughs> yeah. I listened to this guy, and this guy was actually talking about that. And he said, he said, he said, Jamaica, for argument's sake, 
is going down a particular route whereby it is like a police state. And I said, what do you mean by a police state? It's going down a particular route whereby it's like the people are not having an opportunity to actually speak. Yeah. Post a link on the YouTube. Um, post a link on the YouTube. Um, don't understand what you mean by that. Post a link on the YouTube. You know? Yeah. All angles looking good here. All angles looking good here. What what link are you talking about? Post a link on the YouTube. Link. I'm sorry. Finish. All angles looking good here. Post a link. No. Post a link on the YouTube in the chat. Which link on the YouTube in the chat? Um, I don't understand when he said post what let's send me back to say which which link of the YouTube in the chat um, the YouTube link is Silburn TV as well yeah one second there to listen to this here. Silver, how are you? I keep, <laughs> I keep giving away your secret, huh? No, that that's cool, man. I'm just, I'm just really, I'm listening to some really. I found this way to play some music, which I'm not gonna get copyright in in, in um, <laughs> things, but I'm just really, just really chilled. You know, I don't know if you can hear the music in the backdrop. I I hear basic, but I'm trying to get my drink together. You what? I'm getting a drink. Because I had some, um, COVID is on the, um, the rise. Like, you know, I work in the hospital, so I'm kind of on demand right now. So there was yes. some stuff I have to do. So. But anyways, it's time for fun. Well, I tell you what, we, we don't have any petrol here. You have, to, you, have to, you have to wire some petrol in the UK. Uh, well, you know what? What's the problem? Because you guys don't want the, the, the drivers. What happened? Is the drivers that's the problem? Why you don't have any petrol? What's the background on that, um, Silburn? Well, well, they're blaming Brexit. There are some people are saying it's a Brexit factor. So, which is, which, and that's which the factor, is the that's what causes it? Because well, someone, Brexit, was, well, someone said, Well, someone said to me, it's a strategy by the government to get people to turn out their yard, to keep the COVID thing down. So what does Brexit have to, to do with it? Well, Brexit, well, what happened with Brexit? When Brexit happened, Brexit shut down Europe. So people used to go across the channel very easily without any restrictions. And therefore okay. workers, a lot of people from Europe and lots of drivers used to be in the UK. Okay. So as a, as a result of that now, a lot of drivers, a lot of persons are not able to be freely and move freely to the UK. So they've gone back at the yard. So many gone back at the yard. You know what I'm trying to say? Oh, okay. So, 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 so it's back to the immigrants that making the country run, huh? It's back to the immigrants who are making the country not running because the immigrants are not here. Oh, yes. Thank you for correcting me. So you yeah. are absolutely correct. Yeah. So you see how important immigrants are? 
and they 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 fail they fail never to they fail to comprehend the 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 power of the the immigrants you know i, I see in america and we have to touch a bit on on haiti bit and america how america is shooting itself in its foot well who yeah. is that who that just joined who that's nobody that's waiting for me to join that's nobody that's a bottle <laughs> all right there's a person hi guys <laughs> Hello. 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 Oh, you're showing us a shirt as well. Oh. I don't know what that's that is. Kobe. What's that? No, it's actually LeBron James shirt. Oh, it's LeBron? Okay. Oh, LeBron. Yeah, oh, so, he used yeah. to play for Lakers before you went to Miami. No, he used to play for Cleveland. He's at Lakers now. Which shirt? Let me see your shirt again. Okay. His name is in the back. Okay. Yes. Yeah. He he's he's at the Lakers three years now. It's a it's a it's a special promotion you're doing. No, the season is about to start, so you uh, know I'm a LeBron guy. Okay. okay. I like Mr. Mr. James too. So <laughs> there you go. I can hear it now. Uh -huh. There you go. I said I can hear the music now. Well, no, no. I this is my my sweet corn, which welcomes everybody and it's what they're drinking. I'm not drinking the wine today. I'm just having a, a madness. Okay, so I'm having some Crown Royal and ice. Crown Royal and ice. Sometimes so I, I have it with ginger, but I don't have any ginger ale, so I have to go without. Which is is that, is that some rummed thing? That's Crown, Crown Royal. It's a it's a whis it's a whiskey, right? Yeah. It's a whiskey or a cognac. Oh, I don't look at the bottle. But anyways, it's not cheap. But <laughs> so cheers. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, listen, uh, listen, guys. Um, as I said before, today, um, last night, uh, last night. You see, when I do my videos and you see me doing this dance, some people sit wondering, uh, is where my dancing and the people I'm shop for. Do the people even know that the manager know? What people fail to understand that the manager is the one sometimes who's taking my pictures and the one who's acting the video in it. And it's a petrol station, it's a shell petrol station where I've got good rapport with them. Uh, so when the petrol started to dip recently and we couldn't find any petrol last time, why she couldn't get any petrol? I called them and said, have you got petrol? They said, yeah, everything is okay, Silver, everything is okay. You can come in the morning to get petrol. So when I finished my walk this morning and I walked back there to get my costa, this is not for the petrol. I said, where's the petrol? They said, it's finished. I said, well, you didn't finish. You didn't tell me. And I said, well, because you're always walking. I don't think it's... <laughs> you're always walking. What? <laughs> like I was like, kind of said, because you're always walking. We didn't think you're always walking and you work from home anyway. You don't need petrol. <laughs> 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 so Seymour, there is a business you can open right there, you know, get drivers to drive. That's what they they're missing right now. That's a business right there. Well, well, it's not just that. Um it, it's because you got to get this HGV um license as well. And they are saying the DVLA which does it is moving slow on it. So the the Minister of Transport is saying that um they're going to have 2500 they're going to get soldiers to start to drive. So guess what they say to the people? Don't panic. Everything is okay. Guess what happened? Panic. <laughs> no gas. <yes>. Panic. <laughs> no petrol. You panic. <laughs> I don't know why they always do that. Don't panic. Everything is okay. And guess what? Don't panic, panic for toilet papers. You know? And what you happened? Know? I still have toilet I still have toilet paper from then. I'm sorry. I s I did. You were one of those. I was. I didn't know what was happening and I but, went alone. Yeah, no, but, but 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 Vita, let me ask you, since, since you're one of those toilet paper grabbers and hoarders, what is the logic behind grabbing so many toilet paper? What, what was the logic? So let me tell you what happened in my situation. I, we, none of us know what's going to happen. There's a pandemic open. We're shutting down the country. What I did, I went on Amazon and ordered a certain amount. Again, guys, I live alone. So the amount that I ordered is still serving me. Okay. It was because I did not know what was going on. And, and, and none of us know what the future was going to be as far as a pandemic. They're shutting down countries. It wasn't just mm -hmm. America. It was the world. 
So it doesn't matter how brave you are or how smart you are. You have to think you don't know what's going to happen. See this here? But, my, no, my, but so the person said? You know what the person said? <laughs> this is what the person said. I can see them tussle screen for petrol from my bathroom. Look at the toilet. <laughs> But 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 Vita, I, I I understand that we don't know what's happening. But why didn't you stockpile file on on oil or tin food or still? You understand? It was just they were fighting just, over toilet paper, paper more than any other product. Yes. It wasn't just static paper for me. I I actually sent a barrel to, uh, and and some stuff that I stack up on. I mean, I I stack up on about. Maybe about four hundred doves. So <laughs> I stuck up on a lot. Breaking news! Breaking news! Five thousand overseas lorry drivers and five thousand five hundred poultry. Something just came a while ago. So breaking news! They're finding drivers. They're, well, they can find drivers, but as my cousin said to me, he believe it's a way the strategy for people to turn on them yard, so they can't force people to turn on them yard. So they can't turn on them. So they're, okay, so they don't right, so they don't have that, then they can't move. Okay. But but let me ask you a question, um, guys. Yeah. Um, I'm locked up alone in my house, so I guess I only have me and my brain because I don't do a lot of the TV to talk to or, you know, mm. social media sometimes. But as a leader of the... We're looking at leaders around the world like they're failing around mm. the world. So as leaders, and they're trying to control the pandemic and the people or not agreeing with them or believe in them because they're not transparent. Do you think that the leaders are pulling these situations to get the people to stay home, to control the pandemic? Because every country now is facing a crisis as far as can it deal with, I have a surge right now, we have a surge right now, and we are barely, it, it's one of those situations that we have to meet in with different cities, how to control it. They're putting it now to a city level now. Say so you control your city. You control your city. Because the leaders cannot do it. You know, in America, we move from a bully to a spineless, sleeping, mediocre um, leaders now. That's how I mm -hmm. see it right now. So what are, what are the leaders supposed to do to control this pandemic? Because it's not being controlled. It's on the rise again. You know, you know, the... The lady there, one of the creators of AstraZeneca, she said that COVID will blow over and become like a normal flu with some flu-like symptoms right. next year. And, you know, to be honest with you, I have been saying that from a long time, say, leave the thing alone, you know? Don't trouble it. Let it blow away. Don't worry. I, I don't mean to say just stop, you know, you, you, you put your mask on, your social distance, you eat well, if you ever get your vaccine, you get your vaccine or whatever like that. But as a matter of fact, I think the vaccine has messed it up in a way. No disrespect, you know what I mean? Just just love it. Leave him alone. Leave him. Well, well, you have to do something to control it. If the fire is spreading, you can't just let the fire spread. Yeah, but, but it, it, it started to drop. It, it started to drop. It started to drop, you know? And it's, it's when the whole v, v, a, T, v, v, v came in. It just started to blow up completely. But hey, I'm not a medical person. That's just me with my opinion. And my opinion can be shut well, down like easily. The flu, you know, the Gaza, flu Gaza is a professional, you know? The, the flu kills at least 6,000 uh, people per year. I work in the medical but, field. It's mandatory for me to take the flu vaccine. Right now, if I don't take it by December 3rd, I'm out of compliance. I don't have a job. And so is my staff. It's mandatory for the flu vaccine. And if it's gonna, if the, the COVID gonna be like the flu, it's gonna be mandatory in some cases. That's how you control a pandemic and have it goes away. Not preaching to take it or not take it. It's your choice. Even with the flu, you have your choice. You you work at the place where you don't have to take it. So so what you're but, so hi hi Jesse. So what you're saying then is that for the flu, it's a mandatory thing in the states. Is it's that mandatory I, for who works in the medical field? Ah. For those who work in medical so it's field. mandatory okay. for me to go into the hospital. I have to take my flu vaccine. Okay. It's so mandatory for all who work in the clinical area in the hospital. Okay. Okay. So that's a part of the turf and part. And and, and Gaza, what do you, what do you say about that? Now? Yes, yes. Um, I don't know. I'm I'm not a medical expert. Yeah. Um, I I do agree with you that the 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 corona. Is going to be like a regular look. If we look at the history of, of pandemics or outbreaks like this, 
you know, um, it is not the first time, and I said this on the show already, it's not the first time that the world has been asked to wear masks. Mm -hmm. You know, there was a period of time in, in I don't know if it's all of England, but I'm sure about London and the cities around, where was this, 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 this smog or this cloud of, yeah, yeah. For, for weeks, you know, and people had to wear masks, people were having respiratory problems. A lot of people don't know about that, that, that happened in, um, in England. Um, in many of China's biggest cities, yes. it is so polluted that people have to be wearing um, masks around because of the, of the smog and the factories and the smokes. Los Angeles is like that also. Mm. So, but we, have, we had polio. And polio was a, a thing, and people were going crazy over polio. You know, we, and we had so many other stuff. Um, but they all—they all have a vaccine for the polio. There was a vaccine. They all use yes. vaccine yes. to control yes. it. If you look at the yes. history of most of those um, diseases, that it's a vaccine was created to control it. Mm. And Jamaica was the first country in the world to fully eradicate polio. I think. Okay. Okay. Huh? Yeah, because of because of herd immunity. And um, mass vaccine, right? Right, right and that's what they're trying to do now with this one. Yeah, the, but the, the the thing I think is happening to people is that over information, mm. too much information. Is it over and... information, or they're not transparent? The leaders is that? No, no, no. no. Let's not talk, talk, talk about the leaders now. What I'm talking about is that in those days, you had. One TV station, <laughs> yeah, you know, JBC or BBC. JBC yeah. yeah, or no, BBC. I'm, I'm talking in, 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 in most in most countries. They have like maybe one or two um, 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 national stations, you know. And you listen to the radio in your city, That's and you have maybe like two. So, so, it, it, like right now, we have too many media outlets, and I'm not talking about traditional media. I'm talking about. You, you, Silver, are a media. Vita is a media. I'm a media, media person. Social media, and, and yeah. we're all we're all giving out um, information. Yes. And and you know it's it's just um, at, at the time you hear that you have to go take the vaccine from JBC TV. You, you know, um, Henry Stennett or yes. and one of these Linda Dedder Pennell or one of these guys read the news and it's important and you know and so we said okay, it's the news. We we, we it must be true. We all went out and take the vaccine, you know. Now we have persons who are doing reading, research, where people saying what is in the vaccine. At the time, we never question what's in the vaccine. If the doctors say that we have to take it, it's good. You, you know, you know, it's interesting what you're saying. And, and Mark O'Neill is around, but I think he's somewhere else. He might not be able to come on, but he's 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 sneaking away and and he's so hooked on the show that he's still while he's. I know he's, he's, he's at some hours. There he is. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> Now. I'm in an undisclosed location. I know, but is it like <laughs> an happy place you're in? <laughs> so I'm put, that, put, that, put that on my glass. Cheers. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Wherever you, you are at this moment, welcome. No. Yeah, let us let, let us see what's around you, know, Mark. No, see what, no. See what's you around. see, then it, it would not be an undisclosed location. <laughs> there's no there's, there's no signs or flags to okay, give away your location. Let's see what you're drinking. Let's see what you're drinking. What, yeah, what, what you're drinking? And I can tell where he's at. <laughs> Ask him. Okay, he's still drinking wine. <laughs> keep keep talking. I'm talking to my daughter. Keep talking. Okay, he's still drinking his wine. So, but, so but Mark, Mark. Yeah. Don't you feel that we have a um, a, a proliferation or a, a oversaturation of of information coming in? I'm not talking the correct information, just information, and persons don't know what to do. We've always have information. We just had information in a different format before. All we have now is people. We don't know how to do critical thinking skills, wow. right? So you don't know how to discern things that are suspect from the things that are false, right? If you go back to when you were in high school or college, or if you didn't, just critical thinking skill, there are things that you read and are like, that makes no sense. Or when you read a headline and the headline says one thing and the body says something different, you're like, hold on, yeah. that's clickbait. So I think it's the fact that we're not teaching people critical thinking skills. And that's the, mm -hmm. that's the issue. I remember I had a professor. I remember I did a paper 
and I thought I was the best, and he just decimated me in class. Oh, that's painful. That yes, yes. And I almost walked out. Almost walked yes. out. And then in, at the end, he said, Professor Lovizia said, hey, stay behind. And I said, why? I said, dude, you just embarrassed me in front of the entire class. He said, you don't know how to do critical thinking. He said, you read one paper and you think that paper was the source. Did you look mm -hmm. at the author? Did you look at the angle of what the author, where they're coming and from? And the time. Exactly. And the time also. And that taught me one critical thinking skill. So... I'll give you an example. When people talk about poll, people say, this is that. Look at the polling data and look at the representative sample. There's sometimes they skew it to one party or one thing, depending on the outcome they want. But most people don't know that because you're not digging deep. So I do believe that if we make sure that our kids or we have critical or who thinking people, or, or, or who pays for the poll to be done. Exactly. So, so <laughs> that's, in, that's very important. Exactly. So it's a critical thinking skill. If you have that, you know to discern what is fake and what uh, and whatnot. So you know, that's it's interesting. That's it's absolutely in, correct. That's it's interesting. What, correct. Yeah. And Mark, I'm I'm sorry, Silborn. Go ahead. So keep talking. Keep talking. Keep talking. So keep I, talking. Must, I must agree with that. I remember when I came to America. I went to college in Jamaica, and they would not take my college um, information. And I had to do go back to school here and do everything over. But one class that we have to have was critical thinking class. And you have to know how to look at information, whether it's on the computer, social media, and see what is right and what is wrong. They, they, they train you how to see the information. Honey, honey yeah. can, you mute, can you mute while... So you... I'm, 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 I'm just doing a cameo. Okay. <laughs> no, no, stay there. Stay there, stay there one moment. I want to bring in a point about the critical thinking because, Vita, you mentioned about Haiti and uh, what happened in the States of recent days whereby they're saying uh, the Haitians were being whipped. Something has come out of it, to my knowledge, that made me say, wow, because I ran with it and said, wow, this is crazy, until I found out that cowboys actually used that thing to control the horses. And the person who actually took the picture is actually saying they weren't that close. And and Kamala Harris came out, Maxine came out, everybody came out saying those, and, and this is the whole thing where the media ran with this. Now, I don't know if I'm right or wrong, but Anil, I don't know if you have a perspective on this, and you, Vita, as well, because right. this thing has taken the world by storm. Right, so let's Anil, it's, it's spinning. Anil is spinning. Because I wanted, that piece that you spoke about, I wanted Anil to speak about that. I wanted Anil to speak about that first because that was something I have double taken that as far as I also run with it because I saw the picture that was sent to all of us and I thought they were whipping them. Again, social media, we don't know what's happening. But why is it that it's only when they're whipping them that we have, again, I'm going to use this word, spineless and mediocre leaders coming out? Right to say that oh don't whip them. Forget about the well, not forget about the, whether they were whipping them or not. They've been there suffering all this time. Yeah. Thousands of Asians sitting there, and it's because Why now? they're saying they're whipping them. You're gonna come out and say something now? Yeah, that's and, a good and point. Let me ask you a question. I work where I have to go to look after the Afghanistan, make sure they get vaccinated, make sure you brought them on a plane here, and you're telling me that the Asians you. And I'm going to say this. I don't know if what the white guy says right. And you're whipping them and they're there and you have a RCs pushing them back to go back in the river where they can drown. If you're not whipping them, why are you using the RCs to push them back in the river? When you brought thousands of other people and planes to come here, why the Asian can't get the same treatment? So even if you don't whip them, you're pushing them back with the RCs. I saw one of the RCs almost trample a child. Mm. So even if you don't believe they're whipping them, but you saw the video that they're actually pushing them back in the, in the, in the river. So you're going to pick a piece and say, well, they weren't whipping them. But the next piece I have on that, Camilla Harris, they've been there all this time. As a uh, leader... Vita, 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 only you have a limited amount of time. Let's okay, Anil, go ahead, speech. go ahead. Yes. Yeah. So um, when I saw that images... I looked at it, but if folks realize that there are mounted police detachment in every country, 
So how you control the horse to make sure they don't charge the people? You use, the, I forgot the name, but it's like a whip, but it's not a whip. Right. So they never use it to actually hit anyone. If you look at it, what he's trying to do is make sure the horse don't run over the purse. So that's why you see he's spinning the whip. Now, this has gone on for a long time. Here's the thing. People talk about the Haitians and all that kind of stuff. They should. But the Haitians who amassed at the border, they were in Chile. They were in Brazil. They were in Argentina. Those are, they, they had a refugee status. They decided to make the trek up north because of what they saw at the border. So now, should we let them in? I don't think we should treat them any different than we have done in, in everybody else who have amassed on the border over the next, over the last three, four, five months. But this is where we race, and I use that word with the air quotes. Anytime there's a race angle, this is what we do, right? Anytime we could use this to say, you see, the guy who is a cop, is treating blacks this way, right? The administration hadn't said anything for months, and all of a sudden, they're very vocal about the border. It tells you something, right? And that's what we have to understand, that the media has realized we talked about critical thinking. Most of us don't have critical thinking skill. We're either right or left, and that's the issue. They have been mm. able to put us in boxes and depend on who you support, you agree or you disagree. And that's what we have to get around. How do we solve the problem? The interesting thing, there's a couple of people coming, like Chris Wallace from Fox News today said, go build the wall. All of a sudden, people are saying, we need to secure the border, right? I, I, you know, for me, people need to come into the country because we are a society of immigrants. But we need to control the flow. But we can't have narrative where it for months, you know, nobody said anything. And all of a sudden where we could put race in the mix, we decide to do something. And that's the issue I have. But it ties right back to the whole critical thinking skill that we talk about. Because nobody is saying, hmm, let me do a second check. Everybody just react and that's what we have. So on you, let me ask. I see it. Kamala Harris, who is the VP, do you think that she would have checked to make sure that this is uh, this news is true before she come out and start speaking about the whipping? Yeah, but does it matter whether it's true or not? Nobody's going to go back and correct it. Right? So and that's, 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 that's mediocre that's leadership that we are having. It's a mediocre leadership. Like, wouldn't you check facts before you come and um, speak to the country? But unfortunately, the world we have lived in over the last 10 years, nobody checked facts. People just put stuff out there and never correct anything. Right? Based on what I'm seeing, yeah. Yeah. And what I'm seeing as well is because Texas is more uh, a Trump zone. So it was actually trying to get back at the Trump factor as well because Texas is that sort of right wing yeah. conservative zone. So that's why Maxine came out, Charlton came out. And all of a sudden, you're saying, wow. And they say, hey, is, it, is it this on the Biden's watch? This is Biden's watch, isn't it? This is, but, but what happened, Seymour, there's a type of 42 where Trump have in place. Again, so, when Biden... So I see you all. Okay, Anil. See you later, Anil. All right. Okay. When There's a type of 42 that Trump put in place. So America, you have the... Um, I forgot the type number that we open to all refugees because that's the type of country we are, right? In America. Mm. Trump put in a type of 42 to saying that it's a pandemic, no refugees. Okay, fine. But we just brought refugees, thousands of refugees from other countries. Yes. Dear, if you're going to... Peter? Break the, are we frozen? Pardon? We're not frozen. Are we frozen? So if we are? No, no, we weren't. Sorry, me? I thought it stopped. Yeah, I can hear you now. Yes, please. Okay. <clears throat> So if, if the situation is that there's a Tiger 42 that Trump put in place that says there's a pandemic and therefore we are not bringing in any refugees in the pandemic. Okay, as a leadership, that's what you do. No problem. But if you're going to go around your policy, see the policy is if you don't write a policy, you write a policy, right? 
But once yeah. you write your policy, you have to follow your policy. So if yes, there's a yes. clause in your policy and you're going to break it for some people, then you have to break it for all. And okay. that's what happened. All right. Well, well welcome. Let, let's uh, do the honors for... Um, this is my fellow parishioner, um, Damian Phillips from D DPS TV, DPSL TV, something like that. So. Like so. Welcome, welcome. What are you welcome. doing? Yes. Driving. yes. Oh, go on. Yeah. Welcome. I don't, I, you're driving, no. so I don't think you should be drinking, okay? <laughs> Where's the water? Oh, water. you got it. Water. Okay. <laughs> Cheers. Yeah, DP, you, you thanks. Thanks for coming on. You said you, you you contributed in the discussion that the paid media, which is the biggest propaganda machine these days, dictate what to think. Break that down a bit because I'm with you on that bit. There it, is it that there's somebody who is programming us to think a particular way, like TV programs. Yes. All right. So i'm not sure if you guys call names and all of that but if you go and look at the history of how news network started out mm. they had people who a couple of years ago the, the first person would say we can do this we can have 24 hours of just news 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 they used to look at them and say you're crazy at night nobody want to hear about news until somebody said hmm we're gonna do this people go into business to make money Yes. And they realize if we can do this and get viewers, because I think the only thing people like more than news is sex. Okay. All right, Peter. All right, you know. People always <laughs> want to hear about them. Want to hear. Right now is the quickest thing. And then we know this. It's, it's like a, almost a cliche now. Dog bite man, that is not news. Man bite but woman. Man bite dog, that is news. <laughs> So there's yeah. always news, but da but Damien is 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 bad news. It's not it's not just any news, you know. Damien, I spin around. Mm -hmm. Are are me a spin around? No, Who's spin around? Uh, Damien spinning. Me I wonder if in digital if in digital credit done. <laughs> it can't be a virgin like that, there. Uh, or why not? He's from Portland. Why not? He's from Portland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he, but he lives in the states. Yeah. A, a, a Portland man. Portland. Man. See, if it was Ochi, he wouldn't be spinning. There we go. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Lester, don't go there. Uh, don't go there, Lester. <laughs> don't go there. Uh, Vita, Vita. I love you too. I love you too. Vita, hold on, Vita. I you can't talk about Ochi Vita. But so someone brought up. I sent me a reader. I was born in St. Mary too, but at two yeah. years old I went to Ochi. Lester. I was born in St. Mary. What on Ile? What on Ile? What if watch? Lester, all, all so, my mates that I spoke to after you tried to abuse me, saying that and tried to cancel my Ochiist card, they all came back and said, but Sid, none of us were born in Ochiist actually. <laughs> we're <laughs> we should fill it. All the people that were born in Ochi is no longer, you know. Yeah, so we went here and made Ochi what Ochi is. <laughs> so, but 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 hold on, so, so Bird, Where is the nearest hospital to Ochoa's town? Tenants Bay Hospital. Tenants Bay. So why is it that you Ochoa's residents go to another parish? There's a hospital <laughs> in your parish. No, 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 it's not another parish. Ochi and Tenants Bay is a joint. It's right there. It's a... No, 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 no. You were not born in, in Saint Anne. Right. Your point is. And and Silver was not born in Saint Anne, but why are you saying that you're from Ochiria? You're not from Saint Anne. Okay. You're from Saint Mary. <laughs> this is where critical. This is where critical thinking this is, is where lost. This is critical thinking comes. Wait, in. No, 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 no. Look, I can stand up White River. I can stand up at White River. One foot, one foot is in Saint Mary, and one is in Saint Anne. Right, Seymour? Yes. At, at White but, River, but, but, one foot is in Saint Anne, and one is in Saint Mary. Okay, okay, hold on. Vita, yeah. what hospital were you born in? That's all I want to do. I was born at home. I was one of the privileged ones. No, no. Wait, what, what parish was that home situated in? St. Mary. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, but... Send me a resident. <laughs> but when I got up... Seymour, <laughs> Seymour. Um, I just want to take this moment to say, I want to say hi to my brother, Kiki Future. That's my little brother who drives the bus in London. 
And I want to... Oh, Missy, 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 come on, Pony. Yeah. I thought it was a lady. Ask Kiki Future. Ask him if he's brother. got petrol. Ask him if he got petrol. He drive the bus. He drive for the he drive the the, the, the red bus. Let me say my petrol. No, 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 I want to know if the bus them. I want to know if the bus them stop around because I'm I'm here in my house and I don't know what I'm going outside because so much vehicles are out there today. You know, vehicles are all driving around. You know what they were looking for? Petrol station. Some people hey, said I stopped driving. Okay. Hey, uh, hey, my brother, I love you. How are you? Do you have petrol? Uh, text her, let me know. I see, I, I, I see Cassandra online. I wonder if Cassandra has petrol. No, she's not in the UK. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I, people are all over the place nowadays, you know. I know. Some people say claim, brother, claim, brother, people are claiming brother. Otrius when they're from St. Mary. I, so I don't know where Cassandra is right now. I, okay, I, what I you mean, talking I don't know. Because the next thing you're supposed to come visit me in America, I might have to put you at the Texas border. <laughs> Send him on at the bridge. <laughs> But, but but on a serious note, no. Until until we get your mate come back, Damien, and uh, to, to to talk about that critical point, what, one of the things that I always talk about is the the, the magazine. I don't have one now because I don't exist anymore. And they call TV program. TV program yeah. is what they were called, and it was programming you to think a particular way, um, because as you say all the while, and leading up to the elections with America, if you watch Fox. And certain media you think a particular way if you watch cnn a certain way you program a particular way and um and if you listen to, you know who, who you listen to and they always talk about show us your friends i tell who you are oh, who's the person that you listen to uh, uh who, is, who is your is it is it anthony robbins is it les brown you can hear some motivational speakers and you say ah that's like a clone of les brown that's, that's like a clone of Robbins, you know what I'm trying to say? So therefore, right. people influence us, news media influence us. The, quest, the, quick, the thing now is the critical thinking. Which critical. is very important. Yeah. Yes. Uh, his piece says, I'm not in the UK, but I'm an essential, so I would be one of those who would get access to petrol. Okay. So the essential okay. workers are getting access to petrol, is that what's happening? If they rationalize it, only special people can get it? Is that what they're saying? Well, 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 it, well, apparently, I can say now that the nurses are not essential now. Who's essential in London now are the HDV drivers for the lorries. Because, you see, it is not just going to be the food, the, the petrol in it. Food is also short. Water. I've got to go for weeks sometimes trying to okay. drive around trying to find water. You know, the water bottles in, you know. So, 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 like, oh, you're a sent me a resident. You don't put like a jump out the door and catch. And catch. <laughs> no, what we do, we boil the water. We have critical thinking. So, if you can't <laughs> water, you can <laughs> don't you catch rain, rain water? <laughs> yes, and you can boil it, and you can boil it, and then it's okay. So you have Lala, critical me, thinking. Me, me, and his piece. Me and his piece, you know, Obama Kingston, you know, right? So we teeth water, right? <laughs> And, and 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 his piece, Thief Water, his piece. That's water. her name, yes. His his piece. His piece. Them tied them tied with Thief Water. So, so so I was thinking he's saying his piece, mean like his side piece. That's what I thought. No 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 no. no, 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 no. Clear your mind. Clear your mind, Vita. Vita, critical thinking, Vita. <laughs> critical thinking. <laughs> Cassandra, Focus. Cassandra, Focus. Cassandra, Cassandra, come on, I defend, I defend herself, you know. I yes, yes, no. I defend no, his piece want to come in and defend himself. He's coming in now to defend himself. Oh, good. Yes. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> <laughs> Cassandra. Hi, beautiful. <laughs> Hello. Beautiful. <laughs> what are you drinking? Water. <laughs> oh, so that's why we have got water shortage in England. We have... <laughs> I'm on a mission. The, uh, the, the, America, the Americans have the, all the water. <laughs> How is everyone doing? Life is great. How is New York? New York is as New York has always been. New York is good. Well, well, welcome again, my sister. Thank we we were both born in the Republic of Wisconsin. Of, of Kingston. Right? <laughs> but Lester, Lester, why you, have, why you have broadcast the free water? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe something from uh, Nash NWC watching in on Cut It Off. Uh, <laughs> no, uh, 
<laughs> no, look here, no. We, 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 are, we are now in foreign jurisdiction, you know, so they, they can't reach me. <laughs> my, listen, my father still I get free water, free life. <laughs> but, but so you have to share that information because we we don't live in the in Jamaica, but we still pay water every month in Jamaica. We pay a light of water every month in Jamaica. That's so, why you should not be born in St. Mary or St. Anne. I've never had that privilege of paying a water or a light bill growing up. Here. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Exactly. So, so, so therefore, uh, so therefore, the problem with Jamaica now with the shortage, is and the issue with Jamaica <laughs> now with money shortage, and I have to go to IMF, is because of people like Uno. Yes. Listen, I let. I, yes, I've been here. No, no. Years, we, 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 we inherited it. Cassandra. Listen, Cassandra. Listen, we inherited it. We, we, we are not the matriarch of this system, you know. <laughs> <laughs> We didn't start it. We are descendants of it. I will never complain. We never complain. What? Oh my goodness. See, that's why Jamaica don't have any money. See, we don't but get them, the privilege of the country. Cassandra, them they are called jacket rainwater. See, Cassandra, you are Jesse. Listen, listen. They listen, listen. 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 bucket, right? Let's no, no, listen, what, listen what Jesse said. And uh. people like me have to be paying 10 times. Well, no, 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 hold on, hold on, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, kiddies, kiddies, your man are West Kings, so you deliver Anatol to free water, free light, free, hold on, free bulla, free bulla, Jesse, Jesse, give her the core. Oh, she grew, she she grew up now, up in a light, but no water, nothing at all, no rent, nothing. So, I think she get big now. You know what I mean? She start paying them something there. So New Why? New York, Why are you paying? It's hard for you then, because in New York, if you don't pay it within what fifteen days, what three days they give you, or fifteen days they cut it off. So you probably well, one of the, wow. <clears throat> well, one of the beautiful things well, of of growing up in Ocherius and culturalizing Ocherius. No, no, listen, to, listen. Don't don't say anything. Growing up in Ocherius, culturalizing Ocherius with the DNA in Ocherius. Whenever water gone, we just go a river. We go to the river. So we don't Who need to worry about light bills and uh, water, water, water. No, we used to go then I'm going to catch water up and bucket and break. <laughs> unless Sir Jesse, unless Sir Jesse did not live in West Kingston. So get your facts right, okay? Let's live a wild time. Why would I live a wild time? Wow. Yeah. So, why would you have a wild time? So my thing is that... <clears throat> the reason why my 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 water bill is so high is because I have to pay for the people who are not paying. And the same thing with the electrical bill, because they're not paying, so that's why we pay so much. You're paying for so the that people is why who are parents, stealing it. <laughs> so that is why our parents, um, um, Vita, in our tourists, we used to get bills and we didn't know why. They were getting so high. <laughs> because, and JPS, JPS said, well, it was used. It was used. But guess what? It wasn't used by us, but it was used by them. Listen, our representative in, in, in West Kingston was paying it in, in advance for us. So technically it wasn't free. It was being paid but, for. Oh, no, no. Cassandra, cheers to the to, to the honor of Edward Philip George Siaga. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's where so, so here is a different situation. Siaga didn't give us free water in Ochi, but he gave us education. So I thank him for the education. See? Look, so he was providing so, one set of resources for us. Yeah. <laughs> providing yeah. something else. You said it's the division of resources. You know, yes. you spread the love around. Not so, everybody's gonna right? get everything. Can I tell you this? When when I was running for the um the the president or vice president of the student union for Brownstone Community College. You remember the late Janice Spud? You remember that lady who passed away, Janice Spud? Yeah, 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 was, yeah, yeah. I was I was running I was running against her, and we were using some of the pain, the JLP slogan was like um, "Build by labor." You remember that? Build by labor, yes. All we were cool. saying this is what we were saying. I was running, and I got all these Ochi guys, and we're saying, "West to die school, build by CDLism. And we're going to be, and we're saying, Ochi is built by CDLism. Your Kessel High School, build. And guess what? I remember some preach, some teachers said, we don't want these guys in. And I think that's why we lose, because the support I had was some... But, I mean, 
but 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 Silburn, you distorted the fact, Silburn, because Ochoos wasn't built by um you guys, you know, which was was built by. By Mr. Siaga. No, and, let's, and, let's, and, let's, I, I, I think, I think, I think, I think, I Ultras exist long time before Siaga. Listen, still. What are you talking I about? Mean, like, listen, yeah, when I, it comes to, when it comes to talking about the Honorable Edward Philip George Siaga, just let Lester have his way. That is one debate that you're not going to win. Well, okay, no. Silbert, Silbert, a refugee from St. Mary, you know, a refugee from St. Mary, you got what you said. I see I see I see I see I the importance of immigrants. Because right now, what is happening in the UK is a lack of immigrants because of the, the whole issue with the HDV and driving those trucks. In America, how oh, they're treating the Haitians as well. The Haitians play a fundamental part in the system. Um, all immigrants play a fundamental role in the UK. So, Lester, so the point I'm trying to say to you is that Port Maria, wherever we come from, immigrants play a fundamental role. And no, no, no. Stuff. You're a refugee. You're not an immigrant. Oh. No, you're a refugee. You're not an immigrant. Two different things. I, and that's all right. Whatever you want to call me, and fine with it, because I'm good in my in my skin. So whatever you want to call it. But yeah. whatever. Okay, 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 I'm a serious note, then... though. Yeah. On, on a serious note, though, something happened last week in Jamaica, and um, I just want to touch on it briefly and try to see if it can be looked at objectively without um, a long party line. Thanks. But there was a situation whereby the third political party, Joseph Pattison, was arrested because of protesting, demonstrating, or whatever like that. And uh, there's this thinking in Jamaica that people are not able to protest, or Jamaica is becoming a police state. Um, and there, there are concerns about it. At the same time, there, there are structures in society, in the UK as well, whereby before people actually march or demonstrate, they need to actually get some permission. To yes, operate. Same in the US. Same in the US. Yeah, but you have you have some people who, like in the UK, they go onto the M25, they jump out in front of the vehicle and they block the traffic. These are persons that do climates, uh, uh, climate climate um, change people. They call them the extinction rebellious ones. That's what I call them. But the things with the extinction rebellious ones is that they decide and say, who is willing to go to jail? And person decide that they are the ones to go to jail and they put themselves forward. And then after they go to jail, they come back out and they start again. But the government of the UK had to take an injunction against them to stop them from actually demonstrating, right? Now, what's your take, um, Vita, um, regarding okay. what happened recently in Jamaica? So there's a selected selected few in Jamaica that is thinking that they don't have free free speech, right? No. We have free speech everywhere. Law is law. In America, if you want to go out, you have to get a permit. If you're denied a permit and you go out there, you will be locked up. If yes. you decide you want to be locked up, oh, well, fine. Same thing in Jamaica. You have to get a permit. A permit was not given. So you know that if you step outside, go out there, you're going to be locked up. It's not about your free speech. It's about law is law. So my question is, no, in order. you did not have a permit to go out there. It was, if we have a pandemic. The government is trying to run the country. There are people who don't pay water rates and light bill. We have no money to run the country. Well, they, not me. They have no money to run the country. So how are you going to go out there and march in a pandemic when um, COVID is rising, the hospital are overbooked. In St. Anne's Bay Hospital, people are on the floor. I'm not asking you. I saw it myself when I was there. How mm. is he going to control it when people are out there in crowds marching? You know that you ask for permits. We say at this time, no, there will be no permit given until the, the pandemic subdue or is over. But you step up there anyway. So what are you talking about? There is no freedom of speech. My, I, I, I'm going to move on. To, let somebody else speak about that. 
I need to drink and calm down about the situation. Lester. <laughs> um, I, I don't really have much to say. I echo what uh, Vita is saying. Um, and not because I I support the, the ruling party, but if the other party was in power also, law is law. If there was no permit given, right, we have to observe the law um, that no permit was given to, to, to have this demonstration. What I am saying, it, what, what my concern was, it was not even the pandemic, but Jamaicans have a tendency to go overboard. Right? When we have protests, people start looting, people start um, damaging property and stuff like that. I didn't want that to start happening because then do they, do it become they, a do trick. Do that? Listen, really, I thought that was America that does it. I'm not seeing that. <laughs> that's, that's, that's no, America. no. It's across the board. It's across yeah. the board. It's across the board. Yeah. Mm. yeah. yeah. Okay. And because, you know, Sunday, Sunday, times are hard now. A lot of small businesses in Jamaica are really struggling. Yeah. And that would, I, I was fearful that it would lead to people are starting to, to do loot and to break people's shops and, 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 and damage property who are already suffering. That was my, my main, main concern, you know. So, um, but um, it, is, it is an agenda that persons had to, 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 to go out there and try to, try to start something. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I didn't see it making any sense. But do, you, do you think there's a perception? Sorry. I'm sorry. Go ahead, go ahead Sandy. No, 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 go ahead. Go ahead. Some Jamaicans, and it's not just Jamaican, it's all over. There are always going to be uh -huh. people who, one, have absolutely no respect for authority nor the law, and two, those that feel that they are above the law, and whatever they have to say has to be said at the precise moment, um, and if not, then somebody's breaking some kind of um, right or civil rights that they have. And a lot of the times, it's not even that. It's just that they have blatant disregard for authority. I need to listen to it. it. So they go out there and do whatever they want. There any repercussions for it. So yeah. but a lot of Jamaicans feel that way, and they're like that. So, I, I mean, what, can I, what else can I say? What about the perception? What about the perception that is coming through? Different persons are saying there's a level of double standard um, around because this came straight after the Floyd Green. Is it Floyd Green? Floyd, Floyd Green bit there. Yeah, Floyd Green, yeah. yeah. A <clears throat> lot, lot of the perception is that voices are being silenced, even though they're silenced after they have spoken still. You know, people talk about when um, people talk up and then the police go and find them. Um, there's this political party. They want to speak up on certain things. They are not given because previously, the same political party was able to march before, or maybe they stood up at different places. They were doing some things before in previous weeks, but why now? Is it because they are going to Garden Town, Garden House, to try to get the 63 men piece to resign? Which, of course, not what's going to happen. So it was more of a, a political stunt. Seabor. <clears throat> yeah. The fact is that what the UIC, and this is just my opinion now, I'm not living in Jamaica, I'm living in the States, but my opinion, the UIC is an extension of the PMP party. That's how so. I feel. <laughs> That's how I feel. All the people that are in the UIC is dedicated to the PMP party. And I want one labor right to call me and say, I am from the labor right party and I joined UIC. Right? So that's my, and again, that's my opinion. So the fact is that we have a pandemic going on. And as a leader, and you want to be a leader of a country, and there's a pandemic going on, are you going to bring your people out there to march, putting your people in, in, in a situation where they can die? What kind of leader is that? Call the PMP we, and let the, PM, the, prime minister, the prime minister of the country that you want to meet with him, discuss the situation. How can we work together in this pandemic to fix this country? That's what he should have done. Being locked up, and I'm going to use a local um, term, free, free talk, being a jailbait doesn't make you a leader. 
Going out there and being locked up doesn't make you a leader. You want to be a leader? Do it from the corporate executive level. You don't want to go in the streets and be locked up like the local people if you're a true leader. I have no problem with a new party in Jamaica. I, I am open to join a new... Uh, well, I'm not. I'm not leaving my labor. But anyways, let, let's... <laughs> I'm just saying that as a leader, right? Meet with the prime minister and said, look, right now we have different opinion because we don't need everybody to say yes, yes to us. You need some naysay. You need some people who say you are doing wrong. And, and when I was down there, I thought that he was wrong in the lockdown that he did the way that he did it. Because poor people, Jamaica was suffering. The country was suffering. Call, make a, make, have a meeting with the leader and said, let's see how we can fix Jamaica. You know what the problem in Jamaica is? But that's how it was being done. That's how it is. We need but, changes in Jamaica. We need to step up to the 20th century. And that's Vic, what we need to do. A new party is not yeah. going to fix it when you're behaving like a hoodlum. But, but, but Vita, 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 you said something earlier, no? Um, let me just, Vipop said something, just, just like when you speak against Andrew Holmes, the police find you. Vita, you said something earlier that we're going through a pandemic and you're getting the people out. You heard what you said? Is that what you said? I said we're in a pandemic and you want the people to go out in the street together. Stop. Yeah. yeah. Stop. Mm -hmm. Stop. Stop for a second. Stop for a second. Yeah. We're in a pandemic and you want the people to go out. But we're in a pandemic and there was an election where the people are most called to come out. Okay, mm -hmm. agree. But the fact is that the country's supposed to still run. We're supposed to still vote. How we do it, as I said, is that everything that the leadership is doing now, I agree with. There's a certain way of doing things. Is the 100% the government right now is doing the best? They can do better. But, 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 but Vita, can I answer Silburn, Vita? Yes, please. Because I have been answering this question... Um, this, the exact question that Silburn posed, uh, just um, posed to you. Now, Silburn, the elections were constitutionally due this year, 2021. Right. Right? Now, at the time, we had not gotten to um, a thousand persons infected in Jamaica by coronavirus. Right? Mm. But by the time the elections were constitutionally due, we would have reached over a thousand. So, if so, would you have rather the election being kept when the, the, the infection rate was higher or lower? So, it was a calculated decision by the most honorable Andrew Michael Holness yeah. to keep the, to have the, these elections at a time most convenient and at a time where the, where the, 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 the infection rate was lowest because the trajectory showed Andrew Holness that. By the time the elections were constitutionally due, yes. the pandemic would have created higher infection rates, which would have caused when the, when the people to come out, it would have had a more serious effect on the population, more widespread effect on the population. Now, let's say that he didn't call the elections last year, but he waited until 2021. Look at the numbers now. We would not be able to have an election that would make the Jamaica Labour Party an illegitimate government no, by it, law. It, it, it doesn't have to be an illegitimate government if based on a pandemic on a national crisis that an election is not called because there are ways that parliament to, major, to a simple majority or whatever, they can pass something, a resolution that can offset it. It has happened in the UK whereby because of the pandemic become an overriding factor. But the point that you said is really crucial. Business must go on. Politics yes. must go on. Running of a nation must go on. And, and I believe at the same time that people exercising their rights then, because you see there's a, a lot of double standard what you're saying. Look, if politics must go on, if the country must run, then also people must be able to get the waiver or the permission to peacefully demonstrate. Do you agree okay. with that? Put it no, to you. I put it here. No, say, say bye bye to the queen. Say bye to the queen. Say bye to the queen. Hey, all right. Bye bye. Have a wonderful evening, darling. Thank you. You guys too. Bye bye. See more. Yes. 
if the government had said, we're going to do a special resolution, there is a pandemic, so therefore there will be no election, we're doing a special resolution, and we're going to be in power for another um, five whatever years. That would have looked like a dictatorship. Um, no, 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 just for about a year. Just, just for a year, not, not for five okay. years. Okay, but if we had done it for a year, a special resolution for a year, this year with the COVID, it got worse because at that time, there was only 76. I was sleeping one night on CNN. Jamaica was on CNN. They were saying, Jamaica, all, all over the world is doing bad. Jamaica only has 76 COVID. It's been managed. The Jamaican government is doing the best around yeah. the world. I, I saw that on CNN. I saw that as well. Who done that? It show up, my man. I show up. I show up, my man. I show up. Man, come on. I show up. Just, no, just put it. Just put it. What, 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 Welcome to the East Kingston, Dan. You can't talk no pops. <laughs> no, no. Wait, wait, wait a second. Let Vita finish the point first. And just acknowledge. Um, the welcome, pops. King. But Vita, what I'm you, if, if, if Andrew Owens had done a special resolution at that time because there's a pandemic and he cannot call an election, that would have go across a dictatorship, wouldn't it? Well, if it wasn't that, no. uh, if it wasn't, uh, if it was a mutual thing, because the pandemic sort of bring political parties together. Because like right now, the pandemic has brought the PNP and the JLP together, whereby the, the present prime minister I've seen walking with um, Mark Golden in their constituency with the vaccine, with Andrea Burke, he even gave um, what should it, tablets. So therefore, the, the pandemic has sort of brought people together, whereby everybody recognized that this is a serious time. So if the PNP is with it, then it would be a, a fair move, but I don't think they would have any else still. <laughs> so the PMP, the PMP, Seymour, I might have to take away with your card, you know, because the way, <laughs> so, so, so let me ask you a question. So you're saying that if we, if, if the government decided to, to have a, res, a special resolution that the PMP would agree and said, okay, you stay in power for, for another year because- no. it's a, if they agree, if they agree. And do you if, think that, based on the, the culture of Jamaica right now, that... I, I, think, I, I think in fairness, because um, I don't know, I don't know. I, I just... Seymour, I don't Seymour, know. Seymour, I, I, I no Seymour from, I was, from I was 12 years old, my grandmother had me on the road doing canvassing for going to houses. The, yeah. the politics in Jamaica, the PMP would not have agreed. And if it was the PMP power, the labor rights would not have agreed. That's the culture in Jamaica. Okay. All right. Okay. Point taken. Be pops. Okay. Um, me understand. I want more um labor right like Lester, and she got have a bag of things to say. As you said, Silver, if they could come together as a party, sit and talk. The election did did need to call at that time. They could come together as a party and talk and discuss how we can move forward with it without doing it in the pandemic. But the labor right them. See it for them way. No, we won't go because we won the election because we can seek political advantage to win. Mm. So we won't show them say we can do it. Yes. Back to what you were saying earlier on, you went to Jamaica and there's a lot of things Andrew Owens never do correct. Did you use your social media platform to speak out against those stuff? So what I didn't speak out against it. What I did, I did what I could do for the people underground. I don't need to go on social media and do what I have to do. I saw that people were hungry. I made sure that I helped them. I saw a situation that, you know, wasn't right. And and I'm on social media now saying I wasn't agree with him 100% based on some of this stuff. Of course, I went down there to party and he shut the country down. So that was another situation. <laughs> okay, the, the another topic I want to ask you on. Do you think what he did, what they did the other day by locking down the country but let tourists could roam around freely? Do you think that is right? Yes. Yes, because what happened is that in Jamaica we need money to run the country. A lot of Jamaicans don't pay bills and don't pay taxes. How the government of Jamaica, whether it's PMP or labor rights, how are they going to run the country without money? Unless we're going to be in debt to America or, or, or England or another country. How are we going to make money to run the country? How? That was... That was <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Vita, hold on. Vita, Vita, 
Oh, uh, Silver, yeah. th that prime minister was of the PNP. Um, look here. Um, Pops. Remember after this, Pops? The, the, the tourists, them will come, right? Yeah. Now, these tourists went and paid to go at the attractions in Ocherius and Chilani and Montego Bay. Yeah. All right. How, on an average day, no lockdown or anything, on an average day, how many locals on a Wednesday were going to go at Duns River? A lot. A lot. No. No. That's not true. I'm from Ocho. That's not no. true. No. That's not true. No. no. That's not true. Okay. That is not what, true. What you're, what you're saying is the country cannot run without these stories coming in right now in a pandemic. Go on social media and check everybody who is checking in all these hotels and tell me who they are. They are Jamaicans. They are not coming from overseas. They are yeah, Jamaicans. No, but, 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 but hold on. No, hold on, hold on. You see? And when, when persons like you, who is from the opposite side no, of the no, fence, no, the no, divide. Hold on, 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 no, you can't. What if I, I say no one can speak? Oh, oh. You'll still speak. No, no, no. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. I'm a liver, right? That's why. <laughs> oh, go for, go I government badness. Can I speak? Go, go, I can't government speak. badness. <laughs> right? No, but, 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 all right. L listen. Let's let, let us put the facts on the table, right? There's no table here. These, the, these hotels that you talk about are giving reduced rates. Yes. Right? Yes. So it is. It is not just that like regular times are, are are happening in these hotels. These are these are um, um, special special rates, right? Uh, uh, Pops, the background nice, man. Remember, remember, men are like you, You can mute it. You can mute yourself in the meantime. Sorry. It's different for me. You can. You can mute yourself while Lester talking. Yeah. Yeah. So, so what what happened? We have to look at the facts, and the hotels are given very, very um, cheap rates. At no other time in Jamaica's history have we seen locals visiting all these hotels on the North Coast at such frequency. Yes. At any given time. Yes. Because of the rates are tumbling. Yes. Right. Yes. Because. Many persons are not traveling because of the COVID restrictions. Stay case, right? And it, yes, right? So, so hotels are bending backwards to give specials to, 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 to locals. To but when we, look at, when we look at who are the locals who are going to these places, yes. it, is still, it is still not the ordinary Jamaicans. Correct. It is Jamaicans who are in the middle class, persons who can afford to spend this amount of money. I wish you could even... right? to, 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 to go to these hotels. Mm -hmm. I, I, I have said to, to, to Mati Samuda, I have said to certain persons, look here, speak to the hotels. Let them create packages for mothers, um, mothers workers, KFC workers, the security guards, special packages. So I say, okay, if a group of 10 from, the, from, from guardsmen, right, will come, You'll get a special rate. Yeah. So 10 security officers can pull money together yeah. and go. We are still not seeing the average Jamaican going to these hotels. They tell us in, no, in, in large numbers, we are seeing the middle class and upper class mm -hmm. going there. I know of a person, a particular digital executive that is literally living in the hotels and working from the hotels now because of how low the rates are. Mm -hmm. So, so when we are speaking, we have to present the whole landscape of the thing. So we've got to be critical, to make... critical speakers. <laughs> yeah, I mean, on a, on a Wednesday, you won't see the average cent and resident going to Duns River. You won't. No. I think, I think, let's say, I think what people are actually saying is not that. The, my, I grew up in the in the tourist trade. In a sense, my father was a juta. Uh, driver. My mother worked at one of the plantation in before it was Sandals Plantation or whatever like that. So I'm a yeah. product, and that's my bread. Coming from Ocho Rios, born and growing up Ocho Rios, you know that is my sort of um, claim to fame. And anything that happened in my life, I always give owners to Ocho Rios, Ocho Rios for the record. Yes, yeah. uh, Port Maria. Yes, played a, 
at a minute part, but yes, I've got to give credit <laughs> to that as well. Yes. And right, I agree. The, the, the thing about it is that the thing about it is that um I was thinking to myself that these Taj Mahals and these other places that the tourists will go to, I mm -hmm. know that these Taj Mahal and these um high end um craft places do give something to the taxi drivers or the bus drivers to bring the people in there. And I was saying to myself, why don't the craft market also do something of that nature to make it attractive for the bus drivers to take the people to the craft market? And I think that is one of the issues, Vito, whereby the people from the craft market... Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The people, from the, the people from the craft market was actually saying that they feel it's a bit unfair that the people did not go there. And I think, you know, having a structured thing whereby, say, say for instance, the ship is going to come in this week and the following week. You do a social distance whereby if the shops are close to each other, this one close, that one, and then the other week it alternate. That's the sort of thing I, I, I believe could work that's, and people could sense a bit of sureness. That's a great idea, but thanks to PJ and, and um, Portia, they make sure the Indian came in and controlled Taj Mahal, and therefore the poor people can't afford to pay. Sometimes you have mothers, and I come from the community where you have mothers, they're going out in the morning, they don't have money for dinner for that night, and they will go and, and try to make sure that they get money for that night. The Taj Mahal Indians that control the, 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 the water area that paid. The government should have put a, uh, some law in for them to go to the poor people. They can't afford to pay Seymour. They can not work in craft market. I go to school with some of them. They can't afford to pay. All right. Um, I want to take it a step further. I was on a podcast last week, Sunday, and I raised this point. I am sorely disappointed in the Ministry of Youth and Culture and Entertainment. I'm sorely disappointed in the Ministry of Industry and Commerce and um, the Industry of Technology, right? Yeah. Mining and Technology. Now, why I, energy mining and technology? Why I say that is that um, we ought to understand the times that we are living in. Yeah. Most persons now have moved their businesses online. The craft vendors need to follow suit. They no longer have to rely on tourists, walk-in shoppers for their products to be sold. That's true. Create a platform online, have a company, right? Like, Mark like, that like, and, 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 like, like Jesse. Exactly, mm. right? So you market it online, right? You have um, 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 your platform set up where you can receive payment and you have a worldwide audience now. Not every other Wednesday when a cruise ship called to port. We have to diversify. But from a ministry standpoint, these three ministers need to step in and educate the people and say, listen, when you keep on a demonstrator and a ball and a complaint over the last 50 years, it's a craft and does not get in any justice. justice. It, is, it, is, it is now a time that we move on to, 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 to online shopping for craft vendors. She not care again. She live in Arca. No, it's a business woman. No, it's a business woman. It's a business woman. It's a business woman. But she have echo. She have echo today. You have echo Oh, I don't have my headphones. Daddy, why with Daddy, why you no, I realize without the echo, without the headphones, I have an echo. No, it worked. It worked a while ago. Okay, I tell. It I, worked I, without the echo. Okay, I tell you what we do. I tell you what we do. There's an echo when we speak, but when you speak, it is clear. So I will shut up and you say what you want to say. Oh, are you guys listening? Careful, I, I might be driving, so I don't want you to. No, yeah. so I just stopped. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Are you I drinking just, anything? Yes, she can't no. be drinking. She's driving it. Where okay. we send? Where we send? Where we send? Where we send? Where is the lime and honey? Lime and honey. Uh, oh no. And, no, and no, white no rum. No lime and JB today. No lime and JB today. Um, it's 
been strictly work. I'm tired. See, my eyes and I've been sleeping. Yeah. Um, so Dr. Dayton, Dr. Dayton Campbell joined. So, he's, he, he, so we have a nurse and a doctor. Now, yeah. He joined earlier? No, he's online now. Blessing, oh, honorable, Dr. Campbell, Gen are general you? secretary. Like to join. We'll, we'll drop out somebody else so you can join Dr. Campbell. We would love to hear from you. Actually, it would be good to hear his, his views <laughs> as to... Um, <laughs> But but let Jody okay. speak because Jody we're echoing because Jody's here. So is Jody just share our thoughts and what we're I'm echoing, sorry. All right. So um I didn't listen to all of this evening. I was in earlier just when Silborn started and then I was just hearing um some of your views on the craft vendors. Yeah. Um I agree with Lester about the um the vendors and I and I said Silburn in order for us to recover from this entire pandemic, we have to develop a strategy that works for everyone and not just some set of people, right? And if we don't have a plan, we're going to head for disaster. And all we're trying to do now is put a band-aid on everything. And it's just making the wound bigger. It's turning the sore ugly. So if we don't develop a plan and start to implement the plan now, everybody's going to be playing catch up in every sense of the word, in health, in technology, in commerce, in every aspect of what's going on in the world right now. What I want to see our government do is saying we have a recovery plan, mm. which is totally missing from the entire world. I'm yet to hear a government, except I think it was Australia's president who was saying they are having plans for what's going to happen, you know, after all of this. Um, it's Australia, right? That has that female president. I don't remember. Oh, New Zealand. Name. New Zealand. Yeah. New Zealand. New Zealand. It was New Zealand, right? She's the only one I've heard saying this is how we're going to recover. Mm -hmm. No other country has come up with a plan to say this is how we're going to recover from this disaster. These are the steps we're going to start taking from now so we don't wait until after this whole um, disease and virus and vaccination program gets on its way and over and done with. What do we do then? There are lots of people who are jobless. There are lots of people going through mental illness. There are lots of people who are not going to recover financially. It's just a whole lot of stuff that needs to be addressed. And we're playing dilly-dally with the whole thing by just, okay, this is the problem. Let's put a band-aid on it now. And we move on to something else. And there is no progressive plan. Now, and we're going to suffer now, in the next five years if these governments don't come up with something soon. Okay, Jody, I want to thank you for that point. And I want to I'm gonna go. Uh, yes, I want to use that point to take us to the next discussion. Thank you so much for that. Spot on. Take care, guys. Have a wonderful evening. Okay, cheer. Cheers, Jody. Silbert, is Dr. Campbell still on? I would love to hear from me if he's still on. Uh yes, I in fact Dr. Dave, okay. Uh, I I think the point that um the point that Jody brought up. I don't think he's there because I've not seen him. The point that Jody brought up is something that I really want to touch on, as I said to you guys earlier, to to see how to take people away from the going around in circles. Yes. yes? Talking about the vaccine, talking about COVID, talking yeah. about politics, being people. But moving forward, what do you, because I, I tell you this, and I don't know if this is happening to you. I find myself of recent days slacking off with my walking. You know why? Because the pressure is getting on back with work. Things are getting back on. And I realized, hang on a second. I can't make it out today. I said to myself, and I promised myself, I'm going to be really just with this walking and this motivational stuff every day or at least five times a week. And this week, I think I did three or four days, I think. Why? Because of some pressure from work. And if we're not careful, especially when people start to go back into office, we're going to find ourselves back into the same rut where we are on our face. We're just back and forth, back and forth. And the thing that we used when we were in lockdown and kept us sane, we need to keep those things the same. So what right. Jody was saying is, what is the strategy forward? Let's say you made that fundamental point. People on the craft market need to start to think strategically that say, hey, if the ship is coming here, let's make sure them order it from long time. So when them come, they can pick it up at the pier. So, so they, but, they don't but, have to but, be but no Silburn, Silburn, yeah. Silburn, 
um and i was talking to um kevin jackson um uh, observer reporter um this morning for maybe about four or five hours and i was giving him some valid points valid tips on 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 how there, there there's so much we can do as a small nation yeah. right but one of the things is that like in america and i don't know about england as much but in america lobby groups work mm. unions work mm. right so there's a craft and there's association yes don't just ask for pittance it is it is what they ask for. that's why that's why i never joined a union when i was in jamaica yeah. because all they ask for is raise a pay yeah. and i'm saying look there are far more fringe benefits that you can get other than raise a pay because if you have increasing inflation right your raising of a pay means nothing because if you if you get say you get a 5% increase on your pay but inflation is 20% or 50% it, not, it makes no, it means nothing, means nothing. so yeah. ask ask a tan, sorry ask a tangible fringe benefits where you actually can, can can get some type of um real benefits right now as i said negotiation is a key is the order of the day what is the president of the craft vendors association doing mm. to say hey okay look all these vendors are going to be on a particular platform mm -hmm. right so we are going to take um still photos we are going to do videos we are going to um do a biography we are going to really expose them right is facebook or instagram the way to go there's so many platforms out there that you can go on should they be on clubhouse you know just just what are the, the benefits of because <clears throat> i mean the ministry i'm sure that the ministries right especially mining and energy and technology the ministry yeah. of um commerce and industry and 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 um uh, 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 culture and, and and entertainment can observe the cost of say say iphone cell phones um because is clubhouse is only on iphone right I think no, it has moved on to. I think it's moved on to now. To, to um, Android. Sorry. To Android. Yes. Okay, I, I'm not sure. But what I'm saying, the government can absorb that cost to say we're going to offer them this. Mm -hmm. If they want to match the cell phone and dash it and whatever, that's not your problem. You uh, you offer this. So offer a tangible solution, a, 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 a immediate solution mm -hmm. that can bring long term, su sustainable long term benefits. Okay. Right. No. Okay. So, 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 go on. so, 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 what I'm saying, it comes back to the to original argument that that O'Neill started in terms of critical thinking, because these are small things that you can do that can benefit a wide mass of people. Yeah, I want to go on to Vita now, but just to, just to let Jack in a flick now, she said, "Oh no, I need to keep up with your walking. I need to keep up my walking to keep I my need head in." <laughs> so, Seymour, I walk every morning. I never um mention this, but I do walk every morning, and I must say. Thank you for that motivation every morning. I yes. wake up because of because of the, the work and the stress of COVID surging right now. Life is very stressful for me because my job is to find doctor to be in the ER. Our ER is max. We are max out as far as COVID. Yes, um, we we have to be making extra um um emergency ED department to make it bigger. We are max. Out. I'm, I'm, it's a children's hospital. These are children, not adults. So yes. we are maxed out right now. So because of that, my job is more demanding. So I wake up five o'clock every morning and I, and I get my walk in. And I must say, I thank you because even the skipping, I um, <laughs> that's something I always do. I always do. Lester, skip. The Lester yeah. see the skipping. Lester, am I skipping right? Because these guys always uh, criticize me. You know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Seymour, you are meeting a lot of people and you are motivating me to um get up there. I don't sometimes you stuck on the tree, but hey, that's, that's your situation. That's your thing. But, but Vita, Vita, I, I, I don't cut you. Vita, um, Silburn. Yes. I also gave you props. I don't know if you watch my videos on, on Instagram. Yeah, sometimes. But yeah. I, I gave you props. And Shams also, um, Richard Brown. Yes, Richard. For yeah. starting this, yeah. I and I, I thought I, I said I don't know how Silver keep this up. I don't. Silver oh. finds a topic. Yes. He finds a topic for every morning, and I'm saying, look, I, I, I am, I'm not an average intelligent. I'm a very intelligent guy, and I have been searching for topics. I have to watch people's statuses and see little tidbits what they write. I said, okay, I'll speak about that in my in my walk. Can I? And I said, Silver, Silver, do this effortlessly. Well, hold on, Silver. Yeah, yeah. I 
try to do a walk every morning. If I don't do a walk, I, I get up at six. Yeah. I do a walk until six forty-five, and there's a there's an outside gym. I work out. I come back home. I go to work. If I if I if I don't do that, when I go to work, I walk around my building. Yes. I walk around my building for like half an hour, and I still give my motivation talk. I still get my sweat in. I still get my exercise in, and I have to thank you, sir. Yes. And it is a it is an awesome thing. Yes. Don't don't ever ever Stop. give up. Yes. While walking, yes. while walking, sometimes some uh, uh, like inspiration comes to me. Yes. yes. And this right? is many times I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I, I don't know what I'm going to talk about. But I start walking, I see something, and it, it comes. I start talking. Let's yeah. Uh, yes. that, sometimes that's he's the... stuck in the tree, and sometimes he goes to the birds. Yeah. Sometimes he goes to the the sound. You know, water, dogs, whatever it is, he goes. Let's, to. So say more. I depend on you, so please don't stop. You know, well, I, so, I, don't I, stop. I, I, I tell you what I find, and and this, uh, I'm glad you picked up that point there. I sometimes said to myself about three, four months ago, I said, how can I keep this up? I don't know. What am I going to talk about this morning? And then it hit me. This is what hit me very powerfully. I only know what I'm going to talk about when I'm walking. I never have it before. I might have something in my head, but when I'm walking, something hit me and I say, boom, that's it. That's where I need to go. Yeah. And sometimes, I, sometimes yeah. I go very slow and just chill. And sometimes I go hard. Yeah. You know, but it yeah. only happens. And the message is this, guys, for everybody listening. In anything that you do in life, you have to start. Once you start and you're on that road, you'll see the, the, the answers and things happening right I did, I did I did a video on that. I did a video on that. Starting. Just just say because if you're going to walk a thousand miles. One step. Right? Once you once you take one step, you're no longer a thousand miles away. There it goes. You know? So, so guys, I also have to uh, let you know that, well, you already know it, but there is a spiritual, the universe is spiritual. So when you go out there, you are blending with the universe and the spirituality. So of course it's going to come. What message needs to be given that day is out there. So just remember that when you step yeah, in up, true. because you're doing that for other people. Because Seymour, trust true. me, there's morning when I wake up and I decided I'm not going out there. The other morning it was raining. And I was like, I am not going out there because this year is too expensive and too much money. And it's like, you know what? They did the damn walk. So I just want to say thank you. Thank, thank you. you. you back, yeah. to topic, back to topic. Yes, um, yes. So what I'm going to do after, not today, but Monday, I'm going to call the president of the, um, the Craft Market Association and I'm going to talk with him, um, of Gaza, about the idea that you put out there um I'm trying to, to, to see if they can do some critical thinking and see because that's a great idea as far as you know what we in the digital world technology is taking over but you also have to remember that i travel a lot of countries and mm. when i travel my the heights of all my travel is to meet the local people yes so and that's you know Peter, factor. You, you know vita did you say the craft market president for ultras or or for jamaica for, for craft market for Ocherius. All right, I tell you what, is that Masana? Um, I have to double check the last one. Anyway, name. because if she's a person, I grew up with her in no, Ocherius. No, it's, it's a he now. It was a he when I was oh, a he. Okay, yeah. okay. Well, I, I still a Ochi person, so we, we yeah, yeah. Say, so yeah. definitely, once I get other <laughs> but, information, definitely because but, but, if but, we can motivate Vita. him, if we can motivate to say, listen, guys, this is an idea. I think it's a great idea. But yes. sometimes we don't have that critical thinking because when you're involved in the situation, you don't think about the bigger picture. You don't see the bigger aspect of it. But, but, but Lester, that's a great idea. And I'm going to bring it to v them. Uh, Vita? Yes. You have um, um, Amazon who is available. Amazon Shop or something like that is available in Jamaica now. Mm. Right? You have um, persons who have companies who can promote your brand for you. Right. So they, they, give it, they give it the eyeballs for your um and product placement and all of that so it's a it's, it's a 360 um everybody affair. benefit and everybody benefit. everybody be everybody benefits you know so it is not just putting up a photo on, on social media but you have companies who can provide a platform for you where you where your product get actual um, um viewership out there right you guys, know? and um so, so, kiddies i think I, I kiddies kiddies utilize yeah. 
um, um, one of these platforms. I don't want to miss this. I don't want to miss this. And for everybody listening on this program here, writing God, you've been on this program before. I want each week for somebody with a business that they want to talk about something which is cutting into a new frontier. Let's find somebody to come on each week to talk about a cutting edge business. Because on Ila and I, we've been talking about doing some, giving some funds to some key organization to do some care package. But we have to step it up to our next level whereby it is creating something that can sustain the people. That's where we really want to go to. Something that can sustain, something that can create and empower people financially, economically. You know, so I believe that while we have the government, but we can't, the government should set the, set the stage and set the, the parameters and set the, the environment. But as people, we have to somewhat empower other people because the reality is this, not everybody are critical thinkers. And at the same time, not that they are not critical thinkers, but they are suppressed by their present situation and circumstances that Sometimes people are just surviving. When someone is surviving, guys, you know what is happening? They are trying to catch the breath and they are sometimes drowning. So they yeah. can't do the flow properly. And but this handle is... this handle situation in Jamaica, I don't like. When I was trying to survive, I have two jobs. In Jamaica, I was working, I was in college working as a lifeguard. I, I off a lifeguard, I don't know if I should say this. I was helping people to get to America a certain way. So so the fact is that you 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 use your in, your situation and you do better. This handle situation, I beg you this, beg you that, is something yes. I don't like in Jamaica. I don't like it. If but, 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 but Vita and Silburn, so, sorry, Vita, uh, are you finished? Yeah, go ahead. Um, l let me say something. You see, there's so much can be done, and that is not done. The issue with Jamaica's politics, and I'm not talking about JLP you know, or PMP, you know, I'm talking about Jamaica's politics, is that it has not evolved. Yes. For me, yes. For, for me, that's true. I think that the president of each political party should look at the caretaker councillors, the caretaker MPs, the, the current MPs, and say, listen, for this next election cycle coming, you need to come with a constituency development business plan. You need to come with, as a councillor caretaker or a councillor, you need to come with a, with a division business plan. So if, if you have four divisions in a constituency, if each councillor has a division business development plan, that means that you're creating sustainable employment and sustainable revenue for your division. Yes. That means the whole constituency will then be employed, for the most part, be employed, right? So just let us take um, West Kingston, for example, right? So we have, we have the, the, the West, the Tivoli Gardens Division, we have the Denham Town Division, we have the Fletcher's Dan Division, and we have the Hannah Town Division, I think, right? Four divisions. Say we are doing, say in the West, say in the Fletcher's Land Division, where we have um, land, and we have um, at the, the Kingston Senior High School, we use the play field as a greenhouse um, factory. So we grow vegetables and we have ornamental like fishes and stuff like that, right? So we grow them there. We transport them to Hanatown where they do packaging yes. and cold storage. Now the Tivoli Garden Division can be the division who service the cold room storage, service the um, in terms of maintenance and development and stuff like that, right? The Hannah, uh, the, 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 the Fletcher's, uh, the, the, sorry, the, 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 the Denanto division now can be where the transportation is. So the packaging now goes into Denham Town to be go into the trucks to ship out to various um, market areas. So just West Kingston alone is a hub of a business in terms of fruits and vegetables and fish. Right, so we service the hotels, we service the restaurants and stuff like that. Imagine each constituency across Jamaica have a business development plan based on its location. And right, and 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 that is something which is very powerful, Lester. And I, I hope, Lester, you're not just coming on here and speaking that because you got contacts, you got the links there. I hope that is being channeled. I said to... it to Bruce Golding and Bobsy Grange. Don't well, um, well, where, where well, digital is you now. Well, 
But let's face the reality. So you're saying it hasn't happened? I when Matthew Samuda was in Amsterdam 2020, I spoke to him 2019, sorry. I met with him, I gave him it. I've said this to Nesta Morgan and stuff like that. Right. I wrote at at, at 13, 13, 13 point um 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 document or something. document to Andrew Holness. But what you see the, the, the thing is our politics is tribal and we have to put we usually put the politics first. But let's say it is your party. <laughs> it is your party. Yes, Are they not listening to you? Have a drink before you respond. No, 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 no. no I want I, no, I want to dig into this point here. Because let's say you've got the heirs of the government. You've got the heirs of these yes. areas. You're not saying to you, you you can just focus and say, okay. How many MPs in Jamaica, which are for Labour Party? 40. You know, even if you deal with the 40 or so, it is not about them, but it's about something you're trying to cascade down to the people. That's the yes. thing. So therefore, one may say tribalistic, who cares? But you're actually reaching out to the people of those 40 MPs. Therefore, why is it not being taken on board? I think it's brilliant. Vita think it's brilliant. Even Dion says it's brilliant, these, these things. Why? Do you want the honest truth? Do you want the honest truth? I don't want it. And you want the truth? And, we can and, and it, is, it, is, it is my party. And usually, publicly, I don't speak anything against my party. But it's not just my party. It's the politics of Jamaica. Yes, mm. it's true. If they keep the people desperate, that is the issue. Keeping the people desperate. They, my idea is empowering the people. Yes. Empowering the people takes the power out of the politicians' hands. This is what Tony Ben says. Right? If you keep yes. the people poor and keep them yes. ignorant, it, yes, then they, they, are more, they are more controllable. You can control them. And that is the problem. And, and the only way Jamaica mm -hmm. going to rise above the poverty that um, they are facing is... The, if, see, a lot of times when people... When they go into politics, it's about oh, what can they get out of it. And so that they, yeah. So therefore, then it is how can the tail wag the dog? If the tail is not able to wag the dog in Jamaica, that means to say the government knee is on the neck of the people. Oh, that's an American situation. Uh, not, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm using it figuratively. If uh, no, I'm going straight on to this. No, this but is, you are correct. You are absolutely right. Yes. I'm, I'm not disputing. No, you're right. You are absolutely you're right. right. And that is the problem. So what we need to do is educate the people. See, yes. and and twenty couple years ago when I was a teenager and everybody was asking the government, because in Jamaica, in politics, I will kill for you, but this is the amount you have to put in your pocket, right? Because yeah. we do, um, the, in politics in Jamaica, it used to be so bad that you, each party will kill for each party. That's how it used to be. I don't know now if it reached that level. Vita, Vita, you know the sad thing? Sorry for cutting, Vita, you know the sad thing? Back in the 70s and the 80s, the money where the politicians them have appear, the man them for do them type of thing there, right, was much mm -hmm. higher than where the money might give the money them now. <laughs> so now you don't even have to pay them now. Now you don't even have to pay them. But back in the you just promised them. Um, back in the days, as, as I said, I was like 12 when I started in politics. I work in the polling station at 12. I have no business working there. But at the level where my family was involved, 16 years old, I'm running the, the polling station, right? Because that's the level that I was brought into politics, right? So, and Seymour, yes, I used to go up against Andy Chin and all them people. I'm just letting you know. Yes. <laughs> Heavy weight, you know. Yeah. Heavy so, weight, so, you know. So I'm, that's the level I'm talking about. But what happened is that, and, and, and I'm a product of politics, um, when everybody wanted money, all I want was college. All I want was education. A lot of the, the, the people and the, the kids my age or whatever, I'm saying to them, yes. you want education. You want education. Don't take no money. I don't want no cash in my hand. I, you know what I'm saying? That's a, that's a factor that you don't have that anymore. People okay. But, but v v Vita, v yeah. v Vita, 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 sorry, Silver, yeah. Vita. When I was in Jamaica, I went. I used to go to um, to lodge money for my for the company that I was working with, and when I would go to Scotia Bank Crossroads, 
and I would look at the you have uh, like, like the you know that they're, they're advertising the, the, the various products they have. Mm -hmm. So it's dangling from the roof. I it's a licking on your forehead. I say you only no no. I say I say it lower. Mm. The only product that was not advertised was the education loan. They have an education okay. loan, you know, I but care loan, house loan. Costume loan because Scotia Bank have loan for costume for festival or dream weekend loan and him, and him something there, right? Yeah. The education loan was not advertised as hard as the other loans were. And the, the thing is, Jamaica need to first let our parliament and the people need to press upon their council caretakers, yes. press upon their mayors, press upon their representatives and listen. Yes. There needs to be a law, like in the United States. I don't know about England, but in the United States, that your child must, by law, go to school. And on that, note, on that note, as you can hear the music now, we don't want to go on a marathon like next week. Um, it's the two hours, 12 o'clock UK time, 1 o'clock Leicester time, wherever you are in Netherlands. Is that 1 o'clock, yeah? Yeah, uh, 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 what, 5 past 1? Oh, it's seven yeah, o'clock. Seven o'clock, no, guys. Yeah, one o'clock. One o'clock, no. One o'clock. Peter, no, yeah. what time is it there? It's seven o'clock. I just cancelled my date. Come on now. <laughs> you cancel what? Your date. My date. <laughs> so, 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 Silver, what is it that you have to do that is so pressing? Listen, listen now. The man is a married man with kids. He got to go to bed. Because at Saturday, Saturday at 12 o'clock, you're not in my bed. There's a problem. You better close that show. <laughs> Lister. Listen, we don't sleep like you. Yes, we, we, we can't. We don't sleep enough. <laughs> you know, you can, I'm, I, I, I'm blocked on Facebook for the next 14, 14 days, you know. So you I am, I'm, I'm, I'm blocked on Facebook for the next. They're You're blocked. Blocked. Yeah. I, have, have, I, haven't you realized that I've not been making any posts on social media? Oh, you're, you're in this prison, I call it. Yeah, the Facebook jail. Oh wow! I never get into those things. I'm always very strategic with my words. Exactly. So I, I have critical thinking. So what I do, I choose my work. Our labor, right? Our labor, lock me up to you know. Our labor, our labor report. Me. <laughs> well, well, listen, guys. Well, uh, is, is, it, is it Sarah Shelley at that well, less than naps? Sarah, what, what are you doing? Less than naps. Yes. Well, guys, listen, on this note, I want to thank you so much for coming on. And just to let you know, um, I've we have created a a Facebook page which Lessa can't go on to. And we have created a Facebook group which Lessa can't go on to. Um, <laughs> Mr. I click on that. Silver, I click on that. I click on that. In that. Mr. The book, I'm a black. No, I accept. I click on it till my week. Mr. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Talk, talk and sit. And um, so I, I'm going to create that. Create another Facebook. Oh, well. I'm going to create, yeah, create four Facebook page. They blocked the four so, pages. So what's wrong with five? You know, Vita, 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 you know, say, you know, they're onto something. They're onto something, you know, Vita. No, so I was taught this. If there's a, if you don't have a policy, create a policy. Once you create a policy, you have to follow your policy, right? But there's exactly. always a clause. There's always a clause. As Seymour, as an attorney, can tell you, there's always a loophole. I'm just saying. Yeah, I will definitely create a, I'll definitely create a new page. Is <laughs> that what? Is that what? Page, I, I, I get confused. I see so many pages for you now. I don't. I don't know which one to tag. Sometimes. Well, not tag the all of them. Tag, oh, that's what I do with you, Seymour. <laughs> yeah, but but I'm the original. There's no other one than me. <laughs> the tag all of them. Original Ochiman. Hey. From Port Maria. <laughs> to make Leicester feel good. But 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 Silburn, you know you know what? Honestly, I mean, and I think you and Vita and I and O'Neill may have to have a conversation and, and Jody off the air, mm. where we have to write a document and put some pointers in, and we um, send it to the Prime Minister of Jamaica, because because they, 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 no, we have even if it's not get even if it's not implemented, mm. he can't say that he never received it. He can't say that yes. something wasn't presented to him. You know, so I, I, I'm, I'm really pressing on uh, upon you that look, something can be done, you know, I, because I want, to, um, yeah, I want to reach the, the, to a point whereby Jamaicans don't have to go to a government to be empowered, but a government should set the environment for them to operate in without their knees on their neck. I've been in situations where I've, through the diaspora, been in diaspora conference, coming on so many times. 
bring documents to ministers of government in their hand because we got the ears of the government and nothing happened you know so i'm at a point now and this is what the i, I believe in small government not big government i'm a conservative mm -hmm. i'm a capitalist at the same time mm -hmm. you know and actually the labor party should be along that line because when andrew has come to the uk i see him at and we have met up at times at the conservative conference i've got pictures mm -hmm. when when he comes up here you know yeah. so 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 therefore the, the point i'm saying is that the tail has got to wag the dog that's what's got to happen but, but we can't yeah. give up even if you see the, the situation is that like you said with the walking there's some morning that you wake up and you do not feel like getting out of bed you want to pull those covers and co winter is coming now where depression is more it's going to be harder for you to step out there in winter. You know, no, man, you, listen, you, you're gonna, Rita, yeah. Rita, is it winter I started? Or not? The, when it's snow, remember, Lisa? I want the snow, I rain. Yeah. When the weather man. Right. Yeah. But That's the nicest be, time because you're, yeah. you're cold. <laughs> yes. So it's going to be harder. So, you know, we're going to be like, let's pull the cover, babe. Let's go back to bed. But yeah. it's the persistent that you have to do. So even though you send a million documents or whatever to the government and they haven't respond, we have to keep on pushing because you know what is one thing we immigrants have is the love of Jamaica. And, and I said this to everybody, you have to be a Jamaican to understand the experience of being a Jamaican. There's no other feelings like being a Jamaican. Yes. No. No. Vita, and it's I said more, that. It's even more higher if you're from Ochi. V ah. Vita, 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 I was explaining that Jamaican experience to somebody since night. It's hard. I was explaining that. And when I was giving them the start, the start, the start, toops, a toop side, they're saying, wow, I it's need hard. to go to Jamaica. It's hard to experience, yeah. to explain that Jamaican experience. And it's even harder yeah. when you're from Ochi, right, Seymour? Definitely, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I, I really need to meet somebody from Ochi because I haven't seen anybody from Ochi as yet. Oh, shush! Listen, <laughs> uh, some people from Ochi. There they are, from Ochi. <laughs> who is that? Who, who are those people? <laughs> Ochi people. <laughs> anyway, guys, listen. I want to wish you a very good evening. And um, Vita, good yes. evening. Alyssa, good morning. Morning, morning. And super said morning, yes. morning, morning. Yes, you know? yes, 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 yes. Guys, yes, yes. it's always... Silburn, Silburn, yes. Silburn, I realize that you haven't played the world boss in any of your clips. I can't, while because of copyright, copyright. I can't do those things. So, the music I'm playing is because I got permission. No, no, in, in your clips, in the gas station, in the gas station, right? I've got, I've you, got, you, to, you, I've got to make sure, because there can be... Unless you send me some which is very clean. Look, you know, I have no problem doing that, sir. Yeah, right? send me which is and, clean and, because the, the, way, the way I do it, I use them in Reels or on TikTok. Yes. And th those yes. ones on TikTok on Reels are tend to be okay because they, they're clean. Yes. So, but most of them are not there because they're not clean. No, no, no. no look, look, they are clean versions because the, the thing that he does is collect two publishing. Yes. Right. He has a radio version and a street version. Okay, no problem. So the so so, so, so the publishing are different. But I'm telling you, it, all it, right. It, we 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 we'll, no. we'll lick one there. B A B. What's up? B A B. Yes, I got B A B. Yes, I got. What I'm yeah. saying. Yeah. I, 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 I know. I know. I know. B A B. Why yeah. no? Yeah. B A B. If he play, if he play the uh, um a word box, then he have to play a spice. Is he? Is he? Actually, <laughs> is he? Is the government is gonna use him as a? As, as, a, as, a, as, a, as, a, as a puppet? I won't say that. I, I, I never say that. I will not speak of ill of anyone. Definitely. Speak of look, look here. A puppet don't have to be a bad thing, you know. A puppet bring entertainment to children sometimes. <laughs> okay. 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 It's, it's perspective, Silver. It's perspective. Okay. <laughs> well, as, 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 as D. Murray is saying, they can see the wrapping up there. Like and share, subscribe to the Silver and TV show. That's the wrap up. <laughs> D. D, D Murray, you see, you see the words about go up. The, the, the words about, you know, when they're moving down. You see where, D. Murray. D. Murray, I said the credits. You know, the credits, the movie credits about go up. <laughs> that's the credit going up. That's that's wrapping up time. Guys, just go out of bed. <laughs> No ramping shop. Oh, uh, God. No ramping shop. No ramping shop, please. All right, guys. Peace out. Oh, uh, God. These are wrap up now. Okay. Bye -bye. See you later. All right, bye-bye. All the best. All right. Cheers. Gaza, respect, yeah?
Bless up, bless up, Silver. All right, cheers, man. Yeah, cheers. Okay, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, thank you so much for joining tonight. It's been a big up on yourself. <laughs> thanks, D. Thanks for getting the show wrapping up. Well, listen, it was a good show. Um, one of the things that came out tonight, um, which on a serious note, is to be critical thinkers um, for people to be able to um, focus. And most importantly, so many great ideas, fantastic ideas. And um, as Lester said, and, and what came out by what Jodian says, is that we've got to be not just critical thinkers, but critical business people because and critical workers because with the COVID is going to go past us. It's going to be behind us. And we do not want to find ourselves in the same position as we were before COVID. We must have learned something during that period, something during that time, and to be able to, to take that into the next level. Carp Dean, seize the moment, seize the day. Lester said something powerful, and what we discussed was that for the craft markets, when they were actually complaining why the ships and the tourists weren't coming to them, it has got to go to a next level whereby, A, tourists don't have to come to the craft market, but tourists can actually buy things online that when they come to Jamaica, they can pick it up straight from the wharf or, or the pier. And, and, and those got the money done a long time. And who knows? You might not need to have that craft marketplace out there or for there otherwise. You know? And given the handout to persons with care packages, one has got to think about ways how to somehow stimulate those persons, how to um, recognize that the survival of the fitness is for those who are actually, some are, some are actually drowning. But for those who have the ability to, just like when a lifeguard, Vita says she was a lifeguard, a lifeguard goes in and picks, takes someone out, resuscitate, resuscitate them, mouth to mouth or whatever like that, get them back going, move them away from survival mode and take them into um, the new zone. And that new zone is a zone of living and going forward. That's one of the most powerful things. So therefore, one has got to be critical at this time, critical in business, critical in thinking and don't just allow the media to manipulate and as i said before what came out of it if you have sent a document to the prime minister so the government and want them to do things for a long time and it is not going anywhere and especially if you are of the same party that means to say the knee of the government is on the people's neck and therefore if the knee of the government is on the people's neck the people then have to find ways how to navigate and circumvent the government Government is there to set the parameters. Government is there to set the standard. Government is there to set the environment, but not to be the controlling and determining factor. Big government is not good. Small government is good. For me personally, as I said, I'm a conservative. Right? I'm a small, um, I believe in small government. And I'm a capitalist at the same time. And people um, at this time need to be empowered to step up as much as possible. So ladies and gentlemen, that's the show tonight. Listen to my guy, Mr. Theta Cash. Listen to some cool, nice, chill music. And um, remember, I created the Facebook page, which is Facebook Talk and Sip page, Facebook Talk and Sip group, uh, Facebook, sorry, uh, in, uh, Telegram Talk and Sip as well. Boom. And um, some great things are happening. And, Big up to Theta Cash and my South African music here. And we wrap up and close off with this. Boom. Great show. And, and listen, on the, hey, David, Bridget, Bridget, I wrap up now. Start. Thank you to everybody who's joining. V Pops, um, Damien, um, Jody Ann for that quick, powerful words of inspiration and that set us on the tone. Dara Shelley. Um, also, Dion, thank you so much for that. Um, and um, blessings, 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 Gaza, everybody, everybody out there, and just chill. And I'm finishing my madness. No wine tonight. You know? Peace out.
It's a Friday night jam, you know? Da-da-da-da-da. 